Alright, so we are back here in the long drive where last episode we found this awesome RV. Now, I get that it looks like a bus, but there's only one door in the front. It was a big empty space, uh, no extra stairs. This is close enough to an RV. Uh, so... Uh, the cats, they seem a little bit sad, though. I, I think we need to find some stuff. Also, I think I just ran a Fury Driver off the road. <laughs> it's fine. Chaos has already happened after the first, like, 30 seconds of the episode. You know what you guys should do? Hit the thumbs up button for more chaos and uh, maybe a turbo because I'd like a little bit more speed out of this. But we do have a stop coming up here on the right. And it looks like we're going to be heading out to the desert here uh, really soon. So let's just go ahead and park across the street. Uh, is there anybody home? Uh, you got any Maxwells in there? You got a turbo in there? Uh, I take either or. Uh, let's go ahead and park here. Uh, Jimmy's just gonna hang out in the front. Hey, no, this is my stop. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. How many times I gotta tell you, if, if this is my stop, this is my stop. This isn't your stop. This is my stop. You know, get over here. Hey, get off my lawn. There we go. All right, let's go in here. Hello. Oh, I see a gun in the top. Right, any Maxwells in there? Those, those some Maxwells? You know, it's awfully quiet in here. Oh, how many bullets do I have in this? Oh, six, and I have a couple, uh, shotgun rounds. Yeah, and some headshot. Why did I hold that button? Yeah, is this actually legit empty? I just wasted bullets. I don't know why I thought it was click to, uh, open the door. Uh, it isn't, but, but look at that. That's, that's ammo right there. It's shotgun ammo, actually. Uh, I was needing this. All right, hold on. Let me, uh, go ahead and put this in the shotgun real quick. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and reload those. There we go. Oh, waste one. I, I gotta get rid of this little box. I don't want to carry one shell with me, so, uh, worth it to waste it. Uh, chalk chunk that back over there. My goodness, I actually made it to the end of the bus. By the way, this thing has four shots in it. And we'll stick it to the side of it, too. And Okay, I can't throw that one as far. Uh, by the way, since we're up here, we should probably look ahead. What is coming up on the road here? Ooh. Wait. Oh, wait. That's a good loot spot. That is a spot we can find a turbo and some really nice parts for the cats. I haven't seen one of those. It's like a red brick building. It's got an antenna on top. A very, very good stop. Uh, hold on. We better go ahead and break these open. I'll just use this nice little trophy here. Wow. How heavy is this freaking thing? I can't even throw this very far at all. All right. Well, uh, binoculars it is. There we go. Okay. So far, we have... Uh, well, what's happening out there? Oh, he's just rolling back. Uh, I had turds in one box. I have turds in box number two. Uh, human parts <laughs> in this box. What the? Why? Why is this a thing? Where is? Okay. Uh, well, it was all human parts. I mean, we do have paint here. I, I see a red paint. You know, everybody says every time I paint this thing red, bad things happen. But I do love me a red, and I feel like it's the unofficial, uh, or maybe I should say official. Komodo gaming color. Maybe maybe we go a little bit more here. This looks red. This is red, right? Okay, here we go. We're getting a little bit more <laughs> red. I thought there for a second I was like, man, we're gonna have a purple bus. That's good enough. All right, let me grab my stuff here. Uh, let me grab the extra gun. Even though it's not really worth much. Hold on, there's something around back. Uh, something in the ground there. That's not a turbo. No, that's an engine. Just confirming. Uh, there's another. I mean, do we want? This couch too? Has there always been a door in the? Why have I just now noticed that? Has there always been a door there? I don't know. I'm stupid. All right, let's just put this in. Also, I had to disappoint somebody last episode. I've had a commenter saying, "Komodo, you need to put a fridge in either the camper or now the RV." And I tried it last episode. I couldn't quite hook it around. And you can't disable the collision on the fridge. At least I don't think you can. I mean, I tried doing it, and it just yeah, I couldn't get the fridge in here. I need there needs to be like a mini fridge mod. Uh, we're gonna stick this here because I feel like we extend out this couch. You got two different like cushions here. Uh, very nice. And here we'll shut this down here. Uh, Maxwell's, if you guys want to, you know, actually use the cushions, you are feel free to. Don't scratch it up, though. What the? When I move a Maxwell, does it really shift the... How heavy are you cats? I felt like it shifted the bus. Oh, I should probably turn this on. All right. Uh, I guess we're going to camp here for the night. Um, it's my... Oh, I didn't even turn off my bus. I'm a ding-dong. Yeah, they're probably safe here. And then we'll head up to those uh, stops in the morning. Oh, I can't sleep. You've got to be kidding me. Can I go sleep in the back? I mean, I guess I should be sleeping in the actual bed. In the RV. I mean, we put this here for a reason. There we go. Look at that. That is awesome. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There is a variant of the RV that closes all the windows. Look at this. This is an RV. To Wait. What do you got in here? Hold on. Can I come up? I don't want to stay in. Oh, I don't like that actually. Uh, I like having some windows. This one, this variant is completely enclosed. You know what? This thing's ugly. 
There we go. Oh. Hi, officer of the law. Okay, I should probably stop doing this. YouTube's gonna demonetize me. Anyways, back to uh, breakfast here. There we go. Nice. All right, let's get back on the road. Uh, everybody, well, I like how I say, is everybody in the, the RV here? I mean, we act like they were actually going to leave. You know, it's not just totally, it looks like a bunch of taxidermy cats. Oh, there it is. Hello, beautiful. I haven't seen one of these stops in forever. I'm hoping it is as piled full of junk as they normally are. Um, sometimes there's a mutant in there, but I mean, uh, we could solve that problem with the shotgun to the face. All right, so let's just pull over here. You know, why did the brakes feel better on this vehicle than a lot of the other vehicles. I, that never makes sense to me. Also, hello. Would you like to ride on the magic RV? Uh, all right, here, let's go ahead and hop out. Hmm, I got two shots here. I got, I mean, I think five shots should get it done. Okay. Oh, there's not as much. I mean, there's a good bit of stuff in here. What's he doing? Oh. He's like singing. All right, look around. You got a turbo in here that I can borrow, mister? What? What's going on? Don't talk about it. Are you mad that you can't come over? What? Come back. I'm not leaving anywhere. I'm actually here. I'll turn on the lights for you. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Run, 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 run. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna die. He's following me. Okay. Okay. Wait. Eh, eh. Oh my goodness. That didn't even get the trick done. Huh? Hey. Help me, Mr. Uh, oh, actually, I've already shot pedestrians today. Okay. Okay, we're running. We're running. I don't know how far out this dude's going to follow me. That's... I legit jumped there. Oh, my goodness. We're going to end this series here. I can hear him behind me. Okay. No, you're not trying to be my... I'm not going to stay still. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, you know, invade your... Your space. Oh, he just talked about tasting my flesh. Okay, okay, go, 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 go. Oh, back. Oh my goodness, he's still behind us. Okay, go around here. Just take a really obscure like path that way. Hopefully, we can break the line aside here. Okay, go around. Go around. <laughs> Bye, loser. Okay, keep running. Keep running. Oh, does he still see me? Okay, wait. Where is he going? Um. Okay. Whew. I think we did it. Uh. He's just, he's kind of just standing there. My goodness, the series almost, dude, did you see? I have like not like much health at all. Hold on. I got to raid your fridge. Real, why don't you have anything in here? Here, I'm going to close this door real quick. Uh, I'm going to find your food in here and I'm going to see if you got anything good. Uh, we're going to be robbing this guy. He, uh, he had that coming on. Oh, here we go. Yeah, look at how low my health is right now. My, I just, I didn't think he was going to make it over to the table. I looked away. You know, I played with the lights. Two seconds and then, dude, I legit jumped there. Uh, I need some health. You got any water in here? Everything you have in here is awful. Uh-oh, I hear him. I think he's coming back. Uh-oh, hold on. Hold on. You know, just uh, throw this, throw the pallet up against the wall. What, what's in here, by the way? Is it blood? No, it's oil. Uh, I got some water in the car. I could probably get across. Uh, I got some good tires here. It, sadly enough, there's not, like, really many unique items in here. This is kind of a bust of a stop. I mean, I can grab a couple things. Uh, that, that chair's kind of cool. I mean, I like the chair. I'm gonna steal your chair, mister. Um, before I steal your soul. You try to kill me, man. It's crazy. All right, uh, we got some good tires in here, so I can swap some of those out. Uh, but there's not a whole lot in here that I really, like, want to crowd the bus with. I, I do want the extra chair. Uh, the clock would be nice. By the way, I have a new mod in that adds a, I think it's a thermometer, which would be kind of cool, because I'm actually curious, like, how hot is it out here? Uh, can I eat this? Oh, I can't eat it yet. On. There we go. Health's going up a little bit. I can get the water that's in the, the vehicle. Uh, anything else? You know, maybe I'll take the pallet pieces. Uh, I talked about walling off the bedroom back there, which honestly wouldn't be a bad idea, I don't think. Okay, we got that taken care of. Hold on. I've got the chance to get to my technical. Can I set the technical up on the floor? Is that a vein? Does, it, does this work this way? Does it just set up by itself? It kind of... Oh, I can still set in this. Oh, you know, maybe we should... You know, I was thinking about mounting it. We could just use this as like a mobile uh, turret. So if, can I use this? It said sit. Oh my, oh, it's not very, not very stable. Just, oh, I got him. Okay, yeah, you definitely want to mount this thing. Uh, that wasn't a great idea. All right, 
That's just fine if I want to mount it in the door. And I, I like how the cop just like blew by. It's like completely ignoring that there was just a shootout in front of him. All right, let's grab these pallets. Uh, let me grab this sweet chair. I mean, it was worth almost dying for this chair, right? Uh, I'll probably take this little saddle bag. This should be some, uh, this should be some inside storage, maybe beside the bed. Or it could be at the foot of the bed. Um, maybe like, eh, see, it opens up that way. So I could probably go something like that. Oh, let me get the, uh, thing out of the way here. I actually think that looks pretty cool. And then, yeah, you can use this down here. So you have like a little trunk storage at the base of the bed. Uh, like that. I feel like I'm going to keep the clock up here. I would put it by the bed because it makes a little more sense over there, but I like to be able to read, uh, time. So there we go. We got that. Is that the correct? I know you can adjust the clock, but I, I'm assuming all the clocks are set to the correct time. So uh, it's close to 4 p.m. And then, yeah, these pallet pieces, I can use these. Uh, and I can use the tire. I mean, it, it's not that big of a bust. You know, I was kind of a little dramatic there where I was like, man, this wasn't that great. This is honestly pretty good. Uh, it's not a bad one. And also these pallet pieces, I can turn the collision off on these. Hey, what are you looking at? Get the heck out of here. I ain't got any bullets left in this, but you know, it's fine. And then yeah, we can stick some stuff on the walls here. I mean, a little half wall. I could probably stick one, one, one more pallet piece wouldn't work. I feel like it blocked the path, but it's like a little half wall back here. I'm kind of digging that. All right, let me, uh, let me put that to sleep. Let me go grab a couple more things. Uh, I, like I said, I could change out some tires. Uh, let's see, this tire right here is bad. Uh, they have some really good ones in there. Uh, it didn't look like there was a lot of cleaner in there, though. And no, we're, hold on, let me grab the fridge. Wait, the collision, why can't I turn it off on this fridge? Wait, what? I had a fridge. I don't wonder if one of the mods helped with that. I don't know. I had this, one of these fridges the other day, and I couldn't, it didn't seem like I could turn off collisions. So you're telling me I can set this in here. Is this bad to set in here? Well, it says collisions are off, but I'm still colliding with this. Hold on, can I slide it through the door now? There, there's no way the collisions are off on this. Okay, collisions on, collisions off. Yeah, it's, it doesn't work. Uh, if anybody has a an idea for that, you know, I feel like there was a mod that added like a mini fridge. At least I'm picturing that in my head, that that's a thing. Uh, all right, let's grab these tires. All right, I grabbed some stuff. Uh, looks like, I mean, it's coming along pretty nice back there. I uh, need more ideas. Uh, the side with the TV, it's a little empty. I mean, you want to leave like a nice walkway through. Maybe I could put some more storage along the bottom of that or maybe something else. Man. Uh, there's a lot of possibilities with the inside of this bus. You know, I actually, I'm really happy we got this particular one. After seeing the other one, the whole fact that it closed up the back window too. Like, I like having the windows. I just don't like the having the extra doors and the stairs in there. Uh, so yeah, I think we got the best RV. That was, oh my goodness. That was impressive. That was a Fury Cop. Uh, that is a 10 of 10 because the flipping was kind of odd. Actually, uh, that's a 9 of 10. I, I can't give something a 10 of 10 yet. It's got to be the perfect jump to get the 10 of 10. It's going to be hard if, you know, if I find like a Fury or something, I'm, I'm going to want to take it because it's a Fury. But like, it's going to be hard to get rid of this vehicle. Like, I really do like the RV. I, it feels like we're now on like the perfect like road trip with the cats. And all we got to do is upgrade this thing, maintain it, keep fueling it. And there should be no way we can't make it to one year in the game and or the end of the road. I've only done it once. Uh, it's been, oh my goodness, that episode was probably over a year ago uh, where I made it to the end of the road. Spoiler alert. Oh, geez. Oh, on, UFO. D turn off the road. Turn off the road. Oh, it's green. Okay. Holy man. I was about to panic there. I was about to say, if it's red, this is a big bus. It might do some damage. Uh, give it a second. All right, green. We're good. Yeah, that would have been a problem if that would have been red. I think I would have been far enough off the road. I don't know what the radius is of it, like, sucking up parts. That's probably another reason it's a good idea to drive a little bit off the road. If you see that coming up in your mirror, just dodge it. Just go hard left or, well, I guess left is the only logical way to go on this side. But if I was on the other side, go hard right. All right, it's the next day. Finally took a nap after driving a, a good leg during the night. I do see a radar dish ahead of us, which is kind of useless. It's kind of a neat stop, but it's like a, you see him once you don't want to really see him again uh but there is an apartment building that it looks like the road potentially runs right up to it i think sergeant Do joe did add stuff to the apartment i don't wonder if it'd be worth it do i have enough ammo for that there's some ammo in there that might be revolver ammo i might have enough to go in there that is is super sketchy and super dangerous doing that but i wonder what kind of loot and or if there's maxwell cats in there might be worth going to there is a tower stop to the left i mean those are decent i'm not really looking for a vehicle loot wise they're i mean they got some good things in there maybe that wouldn't be worth it uh and then i saw a plane crash which that's just really for food there isn't much in there 
Also, how far is that actually away? Hold on, grab this. Uh, let, oh my goodness. No, it's pretty close to the road. Uh, so there's one of those little houses there. Those are kind of useless. Sometimes they spawn without loot. Another apartment complex. You can see what the road's doing, and then it just kind of disappears back there. It looks like we're going to be in the desert for a, a good while. By the way, also, I probably haven't even mentioned... The snowman are gone. I, I ran a poll in one of my last episodes saying, do we keep these things in here? They're wonderful, but they're super glitched out right now. Now, if a mod maker like fixes them to where they work right, then yeah, I'd probably re-enable them. But for now, the snowmen are officially gone uh, because they were causing some really like bad glitchy deaths. And it, it felt like it cheapened it a little bit as far as the hardcore series. It's like, you don't want to die. And the only deaths we were getting were these really weird glitch deaths that I, I we nobody really feels like those count. So. Uh, those are those are gone hey look at that there's another bus that just appeared hold on you whoa this bus looks fairly complete you got some uh some more tires i think i need like one more good one uh oh wait did no there's no way it's like the uh maybe this mod changed all of my buses oh i didn't mean to turn off the light sorry maxwell's uh door I want to check this out. Uh, we're getting closer to the apartment. It is definitely further than it seems. Like, it looks like it's close. Well, it doesn't even really look close. It looks like it was, like, semi-close. And no, it's not at all. Like, it is really far away. Wait, where's the button? There's still a button on this, right? Yo, does this mod get rid of the green switch? How am I supposed to open this? Yeah, it's weird. This one has a middle door. I do like that there's variations. This is the front of the... Yeah, this is the front of the bus. So, yeah, it's a middle door. I actually kind of dig that. Um, the only problem is there's not a switch here. So, is there a switch here wait what how do you like open close oh that's that how am i supposed to open this yeah i was just i was wanting to check out your rv what's what's yours what's your inside of yours look like yeah i mean just it looks like the rest of them but it's kind of weird like did it eliminate the switch uh hold on you got a good radiator no yours is crustier than mine is i was looking for one of those i forgot last episode i haven't had any overheating issues but that was still a thing is there anything in here uh, a little bit of oil right there. Don't really need that. Uh, ugly green. I did see some ammunition, but I think, unfortunately, it's not the ammo that we need. Yeah, it looks like more revolver. And it's 16. If I could find a revolver, uh, that'd be great. Uh, it's getting here. I, I hear rabbits coming, so I'm not going to mess with those right now. But yeah, kind of cool seeing another RV variant, but I think maybe it has replaced... Uh, maybe all the buses? I don't know. I guess I should pay attention to the other buses. Also, there's a motorcycle in there. We're not sticking a motorcycle inside of the bus or the RV. We, we've seen what happens. That was like one of my first glitch deaths. Uh, but yeah, let's keep moving. Uh, the apartment complex has actually disappeared. It's back there. We saw it from a distance, but I guess the terrain is generated in front of it. So I'm just going to roughly aim this uh, way. It's going to take a while to get out there. Uh, but I feel like... I'm hoping it's got a lot of good loot. Like I said, I think it's been changed. Uh, I think there's more rooms in it now, but I'm just still worried that there's going to be about five, six, seven, eight mutants in there. And I don't think I have enough ammunition for all of them. Oh, there it is. Oh, buddy. I, you know, there hasn't been really many stops along the way that I was hoping to maybe find some more ammo and or weapons. Uh, do we go in here? I mean, let's just go up against it real quick. I see the road finally does start to climb up a mountain. No, oh, there's another stop over there, Han. Let's let's get a view. What What is that over there? Left side. Uh, Looks like, I think it's like a general store or like a grocery store. But that's really it. There's not many options out here. So I feel like I'm forced to go in here. Uh, I need to go check all the guns that I have. I mean, I have the technical, but I don't think I can get enough of them outside. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we mounted up on the top of the bus and we just, we rain fire in there you know maybe the windows i don't know if they're like solid or if i could shoot through them in this particular model but if i could shoot through them maybe i could hit a lot of the mutants on the inside and just clean out uh, it that way oh yeah i could feel like it just loaded in a ton of loot there where's the front door oh there it is all right so we're gonna strategically place our bus here on the outside and we're gonna flush those mutants out this might not be a bad idea Dude, I I think this is it. You know, I don't think I've ever been in the basement of one of Oh, it's not empty. I wish the mutants were attracted to sound because I think me opening fire out here would be great. Okay, so I got a plan. It's a dumb plan, but I think it's a plan that would work. Even if I could get them to slowly chase me out here. Here, let's set this on top. I'm going to need to do this during the day. It, oh. See, look at this. Komodo's finally utilizing stuff that you guys tell me to utilize. Oh, geez, that's going to fall off. Uh, uh, can I grab it? Oh, they didn't grab it in time. Oh, my goodness. All right, grab it. And what we're going to do, we're going to mount this right here in the front. Let's just go ahead and set it up. And let's attach. 
Oh, that's perfect. That is really... I mean, we could try to flush them out right now. Uh, I don't think... Like I said, I think it's all line of sight with them. I don't think the sound affects them. But the only thing I'm worried about... Do I hit a Maxwell when I start doing this? All right, let's go ahead and make some noise real quick. Some boarded up windows. Oh, a lot of them are boarded up. The left side's not really boarded up. Uh, let's just keep opening fire here. Uh, let's just see if we can get something's attention. Uh, anybody want to come out here? Uh, it'd be nice if I was actually, like, killing mutants right now. Let's open fire through each window. See if we can hit something through it. Uh, we can get a couple really well-placed headshots. We'll be in a pretty good position here uh, to go in in the morning and clear this thing out. Uh, keep firing, keep firing. Okay. All right. Okay, we are back around in the morning. I don't think I have an option. You know, I really wish I had my explosive mod that had, like, dynamite and grenades. I'd throw a couple of those in there to try to clear it out. But yeah, this is going to be a very tricky thing. What do you guys think? Do we risk it all, the whole series, to go inside of this apartment? Let me know down in the comment section below. And then hopefully we'll be able to continue our long drive here. But we got some good upgrades for the RV. And we'll see you guys next time.